Welcome to Let's Get Personal. This is a place where we talk about marriage. You have the opportunity to submit a question and I'll offer my thoughts. Today's question is, whenever I try to discuss important topics with my wife, she refuses to talk. What can I do? Thank you so much. That's a great question. And I think that communication in general is a big part of marital challenges, isn't it? And so thank you for sending in the question. Now, I would like to know if you are setting up an environment at that moment in time to open the discussion. In other words, if she's busy, comes home from work, has a, has a really terrible day, and you kind of really want to spring on her the idea of you getting a job promotion and moving to another city, it's probably not the right timing. So I'm sure that you've tried a lot. By the time you've asked me the question, you probably, you could tell me more and what you've tried. But creating the correct environment at the right time and the right place and when somebody is receptive for the give and take of a conversation is very important. Otherwise, they might feel bombarded. They might feel fatigued. They might not be clearly thinking. And they can just feel, they could actually feel bullied that one spouse brings their opinion up, wants a decision made, wants it their way. Come on, we've got to make a decision on this. So remember that we're team players. And I hope your wife remembers that she's a team player too. So let's just say you wanted, you have been offered a promotion and a move to another city. And it's a very lucrative job with a bigger salary and the opportunity looks wonderful for you. And so, of course, you care about her and, and the rest of the family, if you have children, what this move would do to your life. So let's just say um, you want to talk about this. So you would say something like maybe, oh, hi, honey, I've got something really important I want to talk about. When you have 15 or 20 minutes, can you let me know and we can sit down and discuss it? And if she's like, no, I'm, I'm busy, I really won't have any time, what is it? Can you just get it out now? And you're like, well, this is something you know, pretty important that I would like both of us to have our undivided attention on. Okay, so if you are meeting with resistance right before you can't even propose your idea, then that, that poses difficulties. And that is telling me that it's possible that she's not happy about something, about herself, about you, about the marriage. And so I have a, a strange question to ask you uh, after you've asked me this question. So your question again is, whenever I try to discuss important topics with my wife, she refuses to talk. What can I do? So my question for you is, how is your sex life? Now I know that might sound intrusive and strange, but if you are physically intimate, sexually intimate, if you're hugging and if there's affection within your marriage, that probably means that there's a general sharing going on. So try to think about, has anything changed? A few years ago or six months ago or when you were newly married, did you talk e easily, very freely about important topics? Or has she always been this way? So I'm, I'm, I'm going to guess that it was probably better at one time and there's important things you have going on that you want her input on and that you need her input on. So the other question I want to ask is, how is your friendship? How is your affection between the two of you? There are things you can do to work on your friendship. One of the best things my husband and I started many years ago was walking together around the neighborhood. So three or four times a week, we 45 minutes, 45 minutes seems to be a, a good amount of time to you leave your chores in your house behind, any phone calls coming in, no screens. Yes, we do take our cell phones. Yes, we're, we only get distracted by a second or two. We want to have them with us. We, maybe we re, want to record how many miles we're walking. But for the most part, it's one-on-one -on -one conversation, uninterrupted, not distracted, really 
makes you feel very calm when you're walking. There's, it's just really, uh, so I would recommend that you build your friendship, you build spending time together where you could open up the doors for just general communication, I even the basic tasks, little things of life. How are the kids doing? I have to do this Saturday. We have this going on. If you can talk about the little things freely and, and you both respect each other, then, then maybe the bigger things will come easy. So you've got to create an environment, work on your friendship, and how is your fun meter in your relationship? On a scale of one to 10, 10 being you laugh a lot together, one being you can't even remember the last time you shared a laugh together, maybe even not even at a movie or, or something. So if you, try, if you can try to put some more fun and friendship and, and create an environment, so now, again, what if she is not receptive? Well, I have to tell you, this can cause divorce. This can lead to an estrangement. Uh, you know, uh, trying to appeal. I wish I, could, I wish I could talk to both members of the couple and say, hey, are you a team? Do you love each other? Do you accept each other's influence? That, now I need to ask you another question. You want to talk about important issues. Do you have a domineering personality? Do you accept her input and her influence or is it possible that you have your opinion and you just kind of want to tell her? So there's many little things that you can do. There's some things that maybe you can't do, but I hope I've given you some ideas. And until next time, make your marriage great.